because uh, Indianapolis officially did not have a one inch snowfall no. today and it's not going to happen tomorrow as well, but it was enough for some of us to get out and enjoy just a little bit. Take a look at some of our furry friends. This is Edith May. Look at that face. First snowfall for Edith and Dawn uh, sharing her corgis out there enjoying it uh, as well. So uh, again, officially Indianapolis only three tenths of an inch. A wimpy winter so far for us. Uh, we haven't even had barely an inch of snow total for the season. 13 inches, the snow deficit. We still have a lot of winter left. We've got all of February. And the snow season basically actually goes into March and April. So we could tack on to this. We will a little bit going into tomorrow. But for the Mestro, just like today, a dusting to under an inch. Muncie, Kokomo, Lafayette, Peru, Marion, a little more likely you might get more of a solid one to possibly two inches, but it's far northern Indiana uh, up toward uh, Lake County and the Michigan border where the higher snow totals will be. With that said, even light snow in the morning is going to make the roads slick. It's coming in at a bad time here between five and seven, uh, especially along and north of I-70. And so because of that timing, there could be some school delays. Make sure you get up in the morning and watch sunrise for the latest. As you get the kids ready for the bus stop, temperatures hovering around 20 mostly. The wind is coming from the south, and that will produce wind chill temperatures uh, in the lower teens. Here's future track 13. Watch the clock. So we're at 5 a.m. This clipper comes in quickly here. Snow is going to spread across I-70 and points to the north. May not be real heavy, but it's just going to be falling into those temperatures in the lower 20s. It shuts down quickly. By noon, this thing's moving out. And um, what's going to happen, the back side of it will start to crank out some rain and snow going into the afternoon as temperatures climb into the mid 30s. So getting home from work, the roads are probably just going to be wet. But what will happen tomorrow night, the wind will shift to the northwest. Any moisture left over is going to refreeze quickly. That could cause some problems Monday night into Tuesday morning. Here's the afternoon as the kids get out of the bus stop there. Mid 30s, we get into Tuesday. Besides the fact we're going to have some slick spots, these wind chills are going to be harsh, close to zero, and they will get worse. Looks like Wednesday morning is going to be our coldest morning. Uh, temperatures will be near zero and wind chills 10 to 15 below. So that's the real cold day for us this week. Not as cold on Thursday. There will be a snow chance Thursday night into Friday. And as we look ahead to next weekend right now, sunshine Saturday and pushing 40 a week from now.